In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make the working claw machine that I featured in this video up in the card right now. As you can see, here's all the red zone. It may look hard, but it's actually pretty simple. I tried to use simple resources just like basic redstone instead of making it more complicated with a bunch of observers and that type of stuff. So this can be more optimized but this is how I did it. Now starting off this is a 17 by 17 by 17 space which is a perfect cube so that's a pretty good space. It's not too big considering most of this redstone can be covered up by the ground and a wall if you put this up against a wall right here. So if you saw my past video, you could have seen that I had a wall here, a roof right up here, just on this space so that you can't see these observers, and obviously a floor right here. So these would be on the ground, making all the redstone hidden. And I'll give you a quick test if you haven't seen my other video. As you can see, it pushes this one piston all the way across and you can push it anywhere. Once you get it to your desired location, you hit this button and it will drop down. Now, normally these would have prizes. So as you can see, there's a bunch of prizes in there. Now, let's say if I wanted the zombie head, I would bring this over here, bring it to the left and push it down. Now, as you can see, I got the prize right in this barrel. Now, also I showed in my last video, the prizes could get stuck on one of these edges if you use pans. That's why you might choose the option to actually use full glass blocks, but I rather use pans because of the design. But even if it gets stuck, you can just simply walk around the side and pick it up from the pans. But anyways, let's get into building this. So starting off with the resources that you need, once again there's a 17 by 17 space and the resources you will need is all of this. Now you're going to need 2 stacks and 52 of any block. These blocks are all the white concrete as you can see I used them for redstone and part of the claw machine. I got 5 different blocks for the button placements as you can see there's only needs to be 5. And the other stuff is pretty basic on what you need. Just these blocks, five slabs, glass panes. These glass panes can be any color. I would just recommend having 24 one color and then one a black or a certain darker color just because it represents the hole where the prizes actually come out from. Then there's a bunch of redstone stuff that you need. It may seem like a lot of redstone, but this is actually very little. And these furnaces can be switched out with any immovable block. So pause the video right here if you need to take more looks at it or if you need to grab all that stuff in your survival world. Anyways, let's get into it. But before we get into this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you already aren't and only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed. So if you subscribe, I'll make sure to upload more and more content just for you guys. But anyways, let's get into it. So I'm starting off with the building aspect of it. Just so that you know where the claw machine will go before you do all the redstone, just so that you don't want to redo it. So this is where the claw machine will go. This is the base of it, as you can see, just like so. Make sure the piece without this block is actually the front of where your machine is facing. Now to add in the glass, you put this here and then you put the glass all around it, just like so. This will be 24 glass, as you can see in my inventory. Once you've done that, now to add on the buttons. Now the buttons will actually be on the floor. If you know a little bit of redstone, you could probably position them up more, but I like them on the floor so that you can actually see the claw machine just like so, like you would a normal claw machine. Now the blocks where you want the buttons should be positioned just like so. One going from this side in a plus sign without the middle, and two going from here which will be the drop claw button. Now that you've done that, place your buttons just like so. You can place them all like this, or what you could do is you can actually place your buttons to the side just so that they're angled where they're going. Now once you got your buttons there, it's time to add the barrel. Now the barrel can be facing any direction, it doesn't really matter. I normally have mine facing upwards just so that they know where to grab their stuff, but you can have it facing to the side or completely upside down. Now that you got all the basic stuff out of the way and you like the position that you put it in, it's now time for all the redstone. Now this is where it gets a little bit hard, but we'll start from the top and work our way down. So starting off, place two basic blocks just over here on each corner. These don't matter, it can be any type of block. Now what you want to do is add the pistons in just like so. As you can see, you want pistons all the way facing inward. You have to make sure they're all facing inwards to the machine. Next what you want to do is actually place observers facing downwards. 
So you might have to use some scaffolding blocks, just like so. Now just place these downwards, and to make sure that you're placing them downwards, you can actually see where the arrow is facing, and if it is facing downwards, you got it right. Now you just break all these blocks, and as you can see, the pistons will fire. Now that you've done that, you want to place in more pistons. Now the pistons should be facing this way. And make sure that they're just like so, as you can see, none of them are really right next to each other. Just like so. Now what you want to do is place four blocks just like so. Once you've done that, place one sneaky piston facing downwards. And make sure to keep those blocks there, this will be the roof of your machine. One more thing that I forgot to mention is you should actually put these in too. You should put all the chains in. You can do this afterwards, it doesn't really matter, but if you're already in the machine, then I would recommend you do this. Now what you want to do is actually place more facing down observers, so put scaffolding blocks just like so and try to make these observers facing down. Now it might be a little bit tricky without actually getting in there, so it might be a little bit hard getting it there, so you might actually have to break the glass just to get through this. Now you got all these observers facing like this, you put four redstone right on top of them, just like so. And now you want to make sure you're on this correct side, so go to the side facing forwards, go to the barrel, go up, and place the block just like so. Now what you want to do is place a redstone torch. Now it may seem on, but that will be fixed. You want to go one, two, place three redstone just like so. Then what you want to do is place a scaffolding block here and then place two over here. And then you want to place a block here and place a redstone torch right here. So now this should be on. Now go back to this redstone torch and put it a little bit down just like so. And you want to go two this way and one this way. Now you're just going to want to put redstone torches on all of these. Now what you want to do is do that once more. Now once you do that, you want to do it again. And for the last one. So you would want to have four total rows. As you can see, I have one, two, three, four. And then this should be on and then this one would be off. So before we get into all the redstone wiring, I'm going to finish off all the simple parts with you guys. Now for the final basic part is you're actually going to connect all the hoppers. So as you can see, just all connect them into this hopper right over here and then connect them into any connecting hoppers. Now to test that, you can easily put something in and to make sure that it comes out in the barrel just to make sure that all the hoppers will work. And for this last part, I would recommend you put your immovable blocks right under the hoppers. Now, this is just to make sure that you mess this up. This is optional, however. Now, you do not need to add this, but this is just prevention if you accidentally mess something up. Now, the last easy part, you actually have to make one more redstone torch line by putting this two away. Just to make sure that's two blocks away from this line. And make sure it's on this side of the contraption. Now what you want to do is place the redstone torches just like so, and it should look similar to these towers, just two away. Now we can get into all the redstone lining. For your guys' convenience, I actually am gonna change the colors of the concrete so that you guys can actually see which line connects to what redstone, because I know that can get really confusing. Now lime will be left, red will be right, Brown will be down, and gray will be up, and then blue will just be the drop claw button. So let's get into the redstone lining, starting off with the drop claw button. So first what you want to do is make sure that you have a block right under it, enough to fit one redstone, so make sure that you have it. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take it to the right, just like so. You can place redstone along these, it doesn't really matter if you do it before or after. And then what you want to do is go over here in a total of four blocks. Now you can place redstone. And then what you want to do after that is you want to go over here in a total of three blocks. And then you want to go up one here. And then one over here. Obviously you can keep on placing redstone, but I will tell you when to place the repeater. Now what you want to go up here, add six more blocks onto this one block. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then what you want to do is place this here, and then place a repeater right here, and then keep on placing the red stone. What you want to do is you actually want to make it go upwards. So you go upwards by one, like so, and then you want to go upwards once more. But it will go upwards just like so. Now place two blocks over here, 
place one block here add four more blocks onto that in a total of five blocks and then what you want to do is add redstone like this place a repeater here and then redstone so now what you want to do is make it go down right here just like so and then what you want to do is make it go one more down over here and then all you want to do is place two more blocks connecting to this redstone tower place a repeater right here all these repeaters don't need an extra tick added to them. And just make sure the line is just like so, leading up to this one. And as you can see, I'll go through the line once more. You can just go over this and see if you got it right. So to make sure you actually got it right, you can press the button and this will go down. As you can see, it went down and picked it back up. Now let's go on to the next line. And the next line will be the red line since it's the next closest. So once again, we're starting off with a block right under it to just make sure you have enough room for the redstone. Now the red line is one of the most simple lines. All you need to do is go one down from here, just like so, make sure it's going to the right. And then once more, go one more down, add two more onto that. Add three onto this side. And then you're gonna wanna add a repeater right here. So make sure it's just like so, the repeater's just over there. Now what you wanna do is go up, and then go up one more. Then add five more blocks going towards the redstone towers. One, two, three, four, five. And then add one over here. Now all you wanna do is add a repeater and a line of redstone, just like so. And as you can see, you can see the redstone line. Just make sure you got it right. They are getting mixed together now, so make sure you're getting it right. This is only the bottom part of the line, so you're gonna need to make the top part as well. So just make sure you got this right, and then we'll move on to the top part of the line. So now that you made sure that you got that, go to the top part of the line, which is connected by this redstone repeater, which leads up to this line this is the one that leads up to all you're gonna need to do is place the block right here and then i'm gonna switch this out just so that you guys know which line it connects to and then you just place the redstone just like so and you can obviously test this out make sure the piston is on the left side to test this out and then press the button and as you can see it pushes to the right now let's move on to the up slash gray line which all you're gonna need to do is start off like any other just like so now this one is still simple but a little bit more complex and will involve your last slab so what you want to do is go down immediately when you get here and obviously place the redstone then go down two more times then go to the left just like so two times once you've done that place one block just like here and place redstone and then place one block up here now you gotta make sure you do this next part right so you want to go up here just like so and then you're gonna want to place a scaffolding block and then place a slab just on this block so if you do that you can actually connect the redstone just like so make sure it's just exactly like this and then once you do that connect a normal block to the right and a block here leading to this redstone tower then place a repeater and then the redstone dust now for the second part of the line, go all the way up here, and this one's pretty simple. You go one, two, three, four, five, and then one part over here. Now you just place a redstone just like so, and then a repeater. And that's it for the upline. Now once again, I would recommend you test it out. So place this like over here, just so that you can test it out. And then you press up, and it goes up. Now we're moving on to the left line, which will be the line. So you want to place this just like any other. This is the most complex line, so make sure you're paying attention for this one. Now what you want to do is add a block right here off the start. And then what you're going to want to do is add three more blocks going this way, just like so. And then one block going this way. And then you're going to want to start heading downwards. Make sure that you're not connecting to any of these as it would mess up the redstone. Now what we do is we place a block here and here. Now we want our repeater here so it doesn't stick to any of this redstone. And then keep on going. Now once you have the block here, you want to go down one more, just like so. And then place another block, go down one more. And then go five blocks this way. One, two, three, four, five. You go one, two, and then a repeater, and then one, two. 
And then what you want to do is place one block up here, place one up here, just like so. And then what you want to do is go two up, just like so, and there. And place the redstone there. Go one over here. Place one, two. Place one here, a repeater here. And then place one over here, and then go upwards. Place two over here, and then make your way downwards. Just like so, go two over here. And once you're here, you go down one more time, leading to this. Now you just connect this up, put a repeater right there, and that's the bottom half of the green line. I'll go through it one more time for you guys. This is the green line. Go through here. Go down here. And yes, this is the green line. Now going to the top of it. The top of it is pretty simple. All you want to do is go straight just like so and place a block right here. So you want to place a redstone like this and this and then a repeater just like so. And obviously you're going to want to test it out. So press the green line button just like so. And as you can see, it worked. Now for the last line, which is the brown line. So we're basically almost done with this. Now we just have this part and you're done. Now you just place the block down starting from this. Now this one is another long one. What you're going to want to do is place a block just like so. As you can see, it's going down backwards. And then you add four blocks onto this. One, two, three, four. Just like so. Place in the redstone. And then you want to go six blocks this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see, it's not touching this. So now you turn one over here. And place one over here. And then another one. And then what you're going to want to do for this one is place in the repeater. And then obviously you want to place in all the red stuff. Now once you've done that, you want to go four this way. One, two, three, four. And then add two this way. And then one this way. And then go over here once again. And then turn over here. Put a repeater just like so. Put a block over here. And then put one over here. Turn it over here to this side. And then what you're going to want to do is place this block just like so. Place the redstone in and connect it up to this line. And once again, here's a review of the line. As you can see, you just go this way, all the way over here, going all the way over here on this one, go through here and connecting up into this redstone tower, the one that is closest to the separate one. Now connecting up here, this is a pretty simple one. All you're gonna wanna do is just connect this. As you can see, it's really easy. Now you're going to want to try this out just like so. And as you can see, it worked. Now you have your full redstone machine. As you can see, it's a fully functioning one. And obviously, you can add prizes like shulker boxes, heads, item frames with items in them, potted plants, a bunch of stuff. Anything that can be broken by a piston is basically an option. Or you can put anything in a shulker box or item frame making any item that you can get from this unlimitless. I hope this tutorial was easy and simple for you guys. If you had any trouble, please leave it in the comments below. I tried to make it the easiest and simplest thing that I could for you guys. Just to make it so easy so that you guys can actually make it yourself. Watch my other video about this claw machine, linked in the description, and in the iCard to just see more about this redstone machine and all the things that you can do with it. Leave a like if this helped you, put it down in the comments, and if you have any questions, I will be answering them all in the comments as quick as I can. Tag me and follow me on Instagram and TikTok, SharpSharkYT on both platforms. I make posts and videos about my YouTube videos that are really short. It's basically a short of how to do it quickly and easily. But obviously on YouTube, you guys can actually get more detail. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope this helped. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.